My Wrecking Ball by Ryan Adams is capoed on the 4th fret and is in otherwise standard tuning. The chords that you'll need to know for this song are variations of Fs, Cs, Gs, and an A minor. The opening chord progression, and I'm finger picking this by the way as well, in live versions of Ryan Adams playing this, it seems like he's finger picking pretty much all the time. So the opening chord, you're going to take your ring finger and put it on the 4th string 3rd fret. You're going to leave the 3rd string open. You're going to have your 1st finger on the 2nd string 1st fret. And then you're going to plant down your pinky finger on the 1st string 3rd fret. And this pinky finger will remain here during most of the... Uh, in fact, your 1st finger and your pinky finger will remain stationary for pretty much the entire verse. This is going to serve as your opening F. You're going to pluck the 4th string that you've got fretted and then you can stroke and strum with the back of your fingernails to get more of the trebly sound out of your strings. And that is the strumming rhythm that Ryan Adam keeps going throughout the vast majority of the song. A pluck on the root note of the chord that you're wanting to execute, and then the back and forth off the back of your fingernails. So, first chord is this F, and then the second chord, you're going to move just your second finger. You're going to move your second finger to the fifth string, third fret. This one operate as our C. You're going to block out the fourth string the way that you're laying your ring finger, so the fourth string will not ring out at all. You'll still have an open third string. You'll have the fretted second string on the first fret, and you'll have the fretted first string on the third fret. Same idea there, so F to the C. Your third chord is going to be a G, and it's not going to be a full standard G. It's the exact same thing that you've done with chords one and two with just moving your ring finger now to the sixth string third fret, and you're going to strum through the rest of what you still have fretted with your planted first and pinky finger on the first and second strings. And then the fourth chord of the verses is going to be an A minor or a variation of an A minor. The way that Ryan Adams seems to be playing it is with an open fifth string, a um, fourth string fretted by his second finger on the second fret, an open third string, and then the second string still fretted by your first finger on the first fret, and first string still fretted by your pinky on the third fret. And that is the verse progression. does that you know through a couple times and it will um, like every other time it will hold on the G without going up into the A minor and then going back to the F. Uh, the change in this song leading up into the chorus there's a pre-chorus that goes A minor walking up to a C and the way that you're going to do that is the A minor chord that we just talked about and then you're going to move with your second finger to the fifth string second fret and then you're going to go from the fifth string second fret where your second finger is to a C chord, moving your ring finger to the fifth string third fret. And then you'll bust out of that. Well, let me uh, reiterate what this sounds like. The walk up will sound like. And then on the heels of that C chord, you're going to go into an F and then a G chord. The way that you're making the F is that you're going to, out of the C, lay down your ring finger, not your ring finger, lay down your pinky finger on the fourth string, third fret. You're going to leave your first finger where it is at, still in the C chord on the second string, first fret. And then you're going to reach around and grab with your thumb the sixth string, first fret. That's going to be your F chord. So I've got 6th string, 1st fret, 5th uh, string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, open, 3rd string, 1st string, or 2nd string, 1st fret, and then an open 1st string. So from the, uh, from the bridge, or not the bridge, but the pre-chorus, it comes together again like... G chord. 
Now in this G chord, you hear Ryan Adams do a little walk down that goes. The way that you do that is almost as soon as you hit the G chord, you're going to move your pinky finger to the fifth string third fret where a C note is. And you'll be going, the notes that you're playing is, but you're doing it inside of the voicing of your G chord. So you'll move your pinky finger to the fifth string third fret, and you'll strike the fifth string and the sixth string, which right now will both be fretted on the third fret by your uh, ring finger and your pinky finger. Then you'll lift up your pinky finger, exposing where your second finger should be fretting on the fifth string uh, second fret and you'll strike the fifth string and the sixth string. Then you'll lift up your second finger, exposing an open fifth string, and then you'll put your second finger back down on the fifth string second fret. And that comes together like. And that's coming out of the pre-chorus. how you get that. From that it goes into the chorus, which the chorus is going to be an F to a C to a G to an F. F again to a C to a G to an F. And so those C's and G's are kind of happening quickly, um, basically holding for roughly like half the time that you're holding the F for. But that's uh, the chorus, F, C, G. And then towards the end of the chorus, you get a back and forth on the C's and G's that go C, G, C, F, C, G, F. And this is where he's singing, um, come on, knock me down, come and knock me down, I think is what he's singing. So again, slowly, that's going to be a C to a G to a C to an F to a C, to a G, to an F, and then it repeats into the next verse. And those are the chords to My Wrecking Ball by Ryan Adams.